Eastleigh nil, Gateshead six. So in Hampshire, just seven days ago. Yeah, yeah and uh, I, I mean the one thing, having watched extended highlights of that game, Eastleigh didn't even put a tackle in. All six goals, it was far too easy for Gateshead. Tells me time to say Bycroft in goal. Harfield, yes, left centre back, as he was up at Fard last week. Kean Harris and Max Dyche, uh, the centre backs. Ollie Scott, the left wing back. Aaron Jones, the shot skipper, the right wing back. Glover and Frost in the middle. Josh Stokes in the ten behind Tolage and Kwame Thomas. And a very good afternoon to John Bell of the Stray Shots, who's uh, listen, I believe, from hospital this afternoon. Had a bit of a fall in the week. John tells me he's a bit bruised and a bit battered, but he's on the mend and nothing too serious. So all the best to you. We're underway. Gates had in their familiar white shirts with black, stri uh, black trim, black shorts with white trim and black socks, kicking from the community stand end up towards the East Bank end. The shots in their home kit of red and blue striped shirts, red shorts and red socks, kicking towards the community stand at the high street end. I think the one thing that they haven't done is make much use of what possession they've got. They're Ball not able to cl cl keep the, the outlet balls. Ball forward into Denanga here inside the penalty area and he shoots and it's saved by the feet of Bycroft. And it was a goal kick forward from Bycroft. Kwame Thomas tried to chest it in the path of a shots play, chested it straight to a Gateshead player. They were in within two passes and Bycroft has made the most important save of the day so far. It's to the left of the D, if you like, uh, the left-hand edge. So uh, about 30 yards out, maybe 29. And uh, no doubt who's going to take it is Ed Francis, left-footed to the right-hand side. And uh, it's parried away by Bycroft. I'm going to say I think it was heading just wide or at best hitting the left-hand post. Bycroft couldn't be certain of that, took no chances, put it behind the goal, and it's another corner to Gateshead. Haven't been to you, Steve, for a minute, just while Archie Mayer's stood on the ball on the edge. Well, in fact, now he bangs it straight down the middle, looking for Francis, who gets a little bit of a flick on. Denanga shoots, and it's a good save away to his right by Bycroft. Be even better than his save in the first half, Yeah, Steve. I mean, that was an excellent, uh, an excellent save from Jack. It was, uh, Denanga struck it well. Uh, ball forward, Jones heads it back to the edge of the area. Thomas takes it down on his big chest into the path of Tyler Frost. He finds a pocket of space on the right. He's going up against his man now. He needs a bit of support and help. He goes back to Aaron Jones, tries a first-time cross. Tolage diverts it towards goal, and it's stopped relatively comfortably by Archie Mayer, although it does fumble it a little bit. Is, is he fouled? No, nothing given. Ollie to Wean. Stokes tries to win it back. Shot from distance is a good one. On target, underneath Bycroft's bar. Bycroft tips it over the bar, it'll be another corner to Gateshead, and you wonder if that might be his last touch of the game as uh, Barham gets ever more ready to come on, ball out to the right hand side, Frost running, chases keeps it in, pulls it back to Tolad, receives the ball on the edge of the area squares it into, Stokes goal Josh Stokes fifth of the season in the 59th minute and Tolad with the assist Stokes with the prod towards goal and Aldershot Town have stayed in the game and now just before the hour mark dare to take the lead against Gateshead Aldershot Town 1, Gateshead 0 In the end another excellent finish from Josh Stokes he's got that nice habit of taking the ball on the half stride so it doesn't allow the goalkeeper time to set it was his last goal in front of the East Bank he did exactly the same and that completely undeserved also at town have had possession for about five minutes of this game they look like they might even get something out of this game for about five or six minutes even now look he, he won't change but what all have stopped in this second half is they've stopped them playing out from the back a lot steve haven't they yeah they've man marked people up that end which has forced him to go longer that's a good tactical change here they come again though on the counter attack with the substitute Connor McBride, ball inside, Allen, the other sub, shoots, it's blocked, back out to Allen. He takes it back to Regan Booty, is he going to try a shot? No, he tries a through ball, that's cut out by Jones. Oh, and the shot is get away, so Jones literally managed to cut it out, but his touch went straight to a Gateshead player who Ed slotted Francis. it in, and I think it's Ed Francis with the equaliser, Steve. Just six minutes to go, 
and Aldershot's clean sheet has gone. Aldershot Town one, Gateshead one. Ollie into Allen and it goes for the return pass. And Scott, Ollie Scott battling well against him. Back he goes to Ollie. Ollie clips the ball into the penalty area. It's held up by that substitute, McBride. He's all over the pitch since he's come on. Back to Allen. Allen squares it in wide. Picked up, squashed in further. Ollie touches it back. Shot comes in from McBride. Comfortable for Bycroft to take in his midriff. Uh, Connor Harris. Uh, Kean Harris, sorry. There is the final whistle. And uh, at exactly five o'clock, it finishes. Uh, referee Wayne Cartmel brings it to a close. It's a very hard-earned point from the shots.